Hello and welcome. Welcome to a video of revision tips for computer science. Wire of eyes. The fight is won or lost, far away from witnesses, behind the lines, in the gym, out there on the road, long before I dance under those lights. Muhammad Ali, one of my favorite quotes. Whenever I'm preparing for something, I have to take exams sometimes. I have to go for interviews. I might be having a lesson observation. That preparation is the key. Prior preparation prevents poor performance. You are doing a performance in the exam hall. You are showing the examiner exactly what you've learned, what you can do to get the best grade you can. It's exactly the same as sports people who go out there and prepare for their performance. You are doing exactly the same. They spend time to get ready for their performance. So do you. To help with that, I've put together some revision tips. So my first tip is start revising now in year 11. So if you're watching this video in September of year 11, start revising now. If you don't get round to revision till April of year 11, I'm afraid it's a bit too late. You can cram, you can do a bit of that. You can get some stuff, get some knowledge into the brain, but realistically, it is too late. You need to start revising now. And if you're in year 10, definitely start revising now. It is never too early to make a plan. Plan your revision days, plan what you're going to do. Chunk it into blocks, maybe half hour blocks, whatever works for you, 20 minute blocks. Realistically, how much you're going to fit in every day. I would suggest it is better to do less and more effectively than lots of ineffective revision where you're sat just staring at books. It's not really sinking in, but you're telling yourself you've done an hour's, hour's revision there when, when actually that wasn't, that wasn't any useful, useful use of your time at all. It would be better, better spent to do 20 minute blocks where you're actually taking in the knowledge rather than just sat there looking at a book. Revise as much as you need to do for you. So maybe that some people need six hours a day. Some people need just one hour a day, depending on your ability. But only, in your, only you know what's right for you. Here's an example of a plan, a revision plan. Now this is hand drawn. You could usually do this on the computer, but some people like to add color, color it in. The student has said when they get home from school, they're going to start revising and they've mapped out half hour blocks there. They put in spaces for times when they're not going to be revising. Maybe they're having dinner. Maybe they're out with friends, things like that. And they've said to themselves, they're going to be revising till 1030 at night. Now, it may be that some people can't revise till 1030 at night. I'm not sure I could. So you might want to think about early morning, maybe an hour or two before school. But what I like about this is, is the student has blocked, blocked the time out, put the time into 30 minute blocks. I put gaps there and probably being quite realistic about what they're going to do. They have said they're going to revise seven days a week. Um, you have to think, is that possible? Am I going to be able to do that? Because you need to be really realistic with this. It's got to be sustainable. It's got to last. It's got to last for about nine months from September to April of year 11. So realistically, what are you going to be able to do every day? More tips. Listen to your teachers. Yep, I am a teacher, I would say that, but your teachers have been teaching a long time. Some of them even mark exam papers for different exam boards. So they know what they know what they're talking about. Do exactly what they tell you to do. If they tell you to write three points, then you write three points. Think of it as like an instruction manual. If you don't read the instructions, you're not gonna be able to do you're not gonna be able to get a good grade. You're not gonna be able to do what you want to do. So to get a good grade, listen to your teachers and do exactly what they tell you to do. Revise effectively, revise your weak points. Look at the red areas in your personal learning checklist, link below. Start with the red areas. They're the areas that you're weakest on. Start with those and build your knowledge in that, in those. It's, it's very tempting to go over stuff you already know. It makes you feel good. I understand loads of stuff. I'm feeling good about myself. But that's not going to help you when you get into the exam. You need to revise the areas that you're weak on. And they're the red areas and the amber areas in the personal learning checklist that is linked below in this video. 
Past papers are good, and I've got loads of these on, on this video. I'm going to have more for computer science, but it isn't just the things that you need to do. You need to go over key concepts, go over your notes, go over revision textbooks many, many times. Because there is such a thing as the forgetting curve. Have a look at this curve. So I learned something, day zero. After seven days, just one week, I'm down to 10%. I remember 10% of what I learned on that first day. So you need to go over things many, many times. You need that rep repetition for retention. So retention level has gone down to 10%. If you take 10% of what you learned into the exam, you're going to get 10%, aren't you? So go over things again and again. So you will forget things over time, that is guaranteed. Repetition is key. Go over the main points. My knowledge organizers, link below, are good for this because you can see at a glance the whole of the course and the main concepts. So you could have a five minute glance over those and re remind yourself, recap, recap for yourself things that you might have forgotten. All computer science courses, the GCSE, have pseudocode they have their own version and at excel has its own version and i've linked below a png file of ed excel's pseudocode pseudocode is halfway between programming language and english statements you need to learn how to write this and i will do some more videos about this but have a look at this look at the conventions remember the conventions so for example printing out printing something out to the screen okay or set, setting a variable set password to i love code that that is how that is how the code is displayed send enter password to display so we don't write print enter password or output enter password we write send enter the password to display again have a look at this have a look at this file links below and learn these statements. Command words. When you get a question in your exam that says analyze or assess, you need to know what that word means. What is the exam board asking me to do? So links below, have a look at the command words here, download them, learn them and understand them. Understand what calculate means, understand what complete means. And this will help you in many, many exams. So that when you get a question that says analyze, analyze something you know that it means to examine elements in detail so you need to write a detailed response for that again links below in the description and the other free downloads so there's four free downloads for you five free downloads actually thinking about it, including that image five free downloads i've included in this video links below to my dropbox account personal learning checklist and my knowledge organizer that I've created. So the personal learning checklist is something to go through. It shows you red, amber, green areas. I've talked about these before. I've made one for computer science. Now you can print this off if you want, or you can write on it. In a PDF, you can go to fill and sign and you can fill that out and you can look at the different areas. Now, if you're red, that means you don't understand that at all. If you're amber, that means you're sort of 50-50, and then green, you understand that. So what I'm saying is, the green areas are not your priority. What is your priority? Are the red and amber, starting with the red. So have a look at that. Have a look at my knowledge organizers, and best of luck with your revision. Remember, Start now. If you're in year 10, definitely start now. If this is September of year 11 for you, you should be revising. You should be revising every night as a matter of course. Good luck with your revision. Let me know how you get on and I'll see you in the next video. Thanks for watching. Bye bye.